Yeah. Me go. Flip it. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Cam Bam bringing you another episode of Mad Ultimate Team. Now, the last episode lasted five minutes. This episode lasts about 14 minutes. So, you know, this was a longer game than the last one. So, let's get this party started. We are back home and we are taking on the Cowboys, the number one play team in all of Madden 17. Especially my online seasons, take on power. And we get a pick, we get a pick, the first play of his possession. So, we started off strong. So, anyway, instead of the two, we're going to try to run with my Jack and he get the first down. So, and we throw our interception, so he just got it back. So now he can, st he can physically start off his drive. So that would have blown opportunities, but you know, we would get, we would get it back. So, runs the ball again. Second and seven. You got Tony Romo at the quarterback. So, Tony Romo retiring is a good thing for the Cowboys, and now he will place. Phil Sims on the CBS number one broadcast team. And he throws another interception. Now, that's old news. That's been much, almost been a month now. So, but. And we throw another interception and we get a pick six. So, this is the, this, this first quarter, it's just nothing but picks. So we both need to settle down on our offense. And I get picked off again. Now, normally I throw an interception, but he just picked me up twice. I'm back to back possession of mine. I'm like, well, I need to calm down. Throwing three picks in the first quarter, that ruined my confidence for Steve Manel. And we, uh, my defense stopped me like, we're not, we're not letting y'all score. Then it's go with Mike Wallace, so basically I put myself in a hole, so I need to dig myself out of. So I'm gonna try running the ball. Actually, I'm just gonna throw it to Mike Wallace. Then I'm gonna try to run the ball, and Mike Jack breaks off a tackle, and he scores a touchdown. So now it's 14 to seven, with three minutes and 12 seconds remaining in the second quarter. First down to 10, we're going to keep bowling out. So now, take it on 10. Get hit on the play, now third down to 10. So, we need to get the ball back, so. Spend it everybody else. You give it to Tyreek Hill. Who. A lot of people don't know this, like, I went to Shorter University, and Tyreek Hill went to West Alabama, along with Malcolm Butler, and I didn't go on the trip to West Alabama, but Tyreek Hill, he taught the university I played for maybe two years ago, so, him coming in the NFL and doing all that, I'm not surprised, we saw that at West Alabama, and we, oh man, Tony, we lit up Tony Romo, and we couldn't get the fumble back, so, dang. So, anyway, now second out of ten. So, back to Tyreek Hill. When I was looking at film study and all that stuff, he kept making long, long plays. It was like nothing. He's a former track star. Fastest dude, so I'm not surprised Tyreek Hill had, made it, had became a star in his rookie season, so. Look out for Tyreek Hill, and look out. We finally get an interception by Keanu O'Neal, who his first season, we, when we drafted him first of all, we thought it would be a bad pick, but he actually led the team in tackles. Him and Deion Jones, when it changed the entire fabric of the Falcons defense, which was a good thing. 
young we was younger and faster and we trying to get younger and faster on the defense now. With a distance with Don, Don Terry Pearl, then we can go back to the Super Bowl. No, we haven't changed nothing on offense, except for our coordinator. We could do the same thing next year. Now, you know, teams that normally lose the Super Bowl and all that stuff don't make it back, but I think the Falcons will make it back to the Super Bowl. Maybe this year, hopefully. Yeah, now back to this game. We have 45 seconds remaining. Now, first down of 10. Tony Wilmer throws the ball and it's incomplete. Now, second and 10. Come trips to the right. So, anyway, third down of 5. Third down of 3. My bad. Second and 5. Third down of 5. So anyway, first down to 10, we're going to throw out, I kind of paused during the recording, I had a phone call, hate, hate, you know, numbers that I don't know, call my phone, everybody hates that, so anyway, it's 7 seconds remaining, and we try to hold, we try to hold it down so he can't score, so now, with 3 seconds remaining at the 34, you gonna take a long field goal. Well, not really. I think about 40 yards, and knocks it straight in the middle. Now we just need a play on a kickoff return. You know why I slowed it down? It's kickoff return time. But who gonna do it this time? Nothing but Deion Lewis. It was just so easy. I just go straight up the middle. The middle of the passage just opened up and Deion Lewis, this was the number one player of mine in one of my countdown videos. And Deion Lewis starts the second half with a kickoff return. He spread through the middle, the middle of the passage, and he scored a touchdown. I can't really sing, but who cares? <laughs> so now it's 17 to 14, and I, the whole momentum is in my favor. So. Defense, we need we need to step it up. So, ooh, good one by us. Went over with Deshaun McCoy, who actually the cousin of one of my former teammates at Shorter University, B.J. McCoy. So, B.J. McCoy had a season ended injury, but he might be the best running back next year. He is. He going to be in Division Two. He might get drafted. So, watch out for him. To have whoever watching all my videos, so watch out. So anyway, third down to nine. Um, first down to ten. He get the ball, and now he's gonna spread it out. He got Wallace Brown, Tyreek Hill, and ooh, he got one on me. Like forget about that kick up to. So I'm like okay. So now it's twenty four to fourteen. You wanna give it to Dion? Uh oh, Deion Sanders. I didn't know I said I had Deion. Didn't didn't know Deion Sanders were back there. So we're gonna do a quick toss to my Jack. Try to break it off, but you know, didn't work. So now it's a second and five. I'm gonna try to do another one. It didn't go nowhere, so now third down to seven. I'll try to throw the ball. It's incomplete, but we do a no huddle. It's fourth down to 18. I'm like, well, forget it. I'm about to get this one. And we throw an interception. I think that's the fifth interception we throw in this entire game. So. And I just got a text saying Marcel Lynch to the Vistly Raider. It been, we've been talking about this for weeks. So, shout out to Marcel Lynch. So. So now it's second to 15. He keep on rolling. We try to. Oh, he dropped the ball. Hmm. You don't see that now, now again. I think he was trying to run it before he actually caught it. So we have everybody back. Tony Wilmer have nowhere to throw the ball. Now it's fourth down to 15. And he's going to take the field goal. We're going to watch for the fake. But he didn't fake it. Now it's 27 to 14. So. Deion Lewis, the last time he had it, what a kickoff a ton, but he stopped it on that play, so. So 
Snap us down 10. Gonna roll out. Root off. Use a catch. So now we're gonna do a no huddle thing. We're trying to score some points before half. And it will almost intercept it again, but anyway. Second on four second on ten. So we're gonna throw the ball and we give it to Mike Wallace. I told you the game went not over. And now we're gonna kick an extra point. And now it's twenty seven to twenty one. We only down by six. I was thinking about doing an onside kick, but like nah. I think my defense can hold. And we try to do hit stick, you got cooks. Man, he might receive cool is lethal. We have cooks, Wallace, Tyreek Hill. Not the buffet class, but you know. Second down two. When it was some McCoy. Third down and one. Keon short. Yes. So he might do a quarterback sneak. We're gonna try to fake it and we stop them. And now we now we get the ball back. It's fourth down and five, but he's gonna go for it. So hopefully we can we can get the ball back. We only down by six, and ooh that was a nice catch by. I think that John Brown. I mean there 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 two the two Browns on 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 the team. So I don't know. Both both wide receivers can go for the Cardinals. And J J Nelson. You know I would think about adding J J Nelson just because of his speed. But I can't wait to use John Ross. John Ross broke the 40 time of Chris Johnson. And then when he get in the league, he's going to have like a 98 speed automatically. Hmm. Whoever draft John Ross, just put him up at kickoff a ton. He's going to take it. Tyreek Hill, Devin Hester, Chris Johnson all had fast 40 times. So... Dev Hester, I believe, is the only one to have 100 speed, I think, in Madden 2007. I think that was the year he got drafted. Or oh, I think it's 2008. I don't know. can't remember. But try to roll out. Now he get the ball back. He's trying to run out the clock. So we used our second to the last timeout. I don't know why we could just get rolling out the clock. Maybe we thinking, oh, we can get an interception or something. And he throws a ball. Now, we call our last time out now for seven seconds. It could be a miracle, right? He going for a field goal. Why he going for a field goal? And he does a fake. That was weird. So now it's fourth down 11. He has to gonna go for it. Last play of the game. We try to throw the ball and he fakes us and he scores. And now he thinking about going for two, so he's just trying to win by fourteen. That what exactly what he's doing. So two seconds, one throws the ball and he gets it. So that's the game. So thank you for watching. It was a heartbreaker, but Tony Romo came in to our house and beat us. We just gotta respect it. So thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned. More is coming. I can guarantee you that.